How y'all doing? It's Dave Davies, HyFusion.com. That's H-Y-F-U-S-I-O-N.com. And today we're looking at a Stanley Meyer generator. A, uh, actually, I'm going to show you something that's pretty remarkable in a minute here. I'm going to show you how I, I made a, uh, a little, little mistake, kind of stumbled on a uh, surprising uh, alteration to the design that put out at least five times more hydroxy gas than previously. Uh, I'm also going to show you today, uh, basically show you the components uh, that you can put together if you're interested in following the plants um, with about $400 worth of stainless steel tubing. For example, we've got a one inch uh, outside tube on the left and we have a uh, about a 0.75 on the right. I'm not sure the, um, of the exact uh, measurements there. Uh, and we keep these tubes separated one from the other by using nylon screws. Let me uh, just put this right in here. Okay, let's see if we get focused on this. Okay, we have four holes drilled for the nylon screws to keep them separated. And then we have a top screw, which is actually a stainless steel screw. Uh, that screw is where you attach your uh, wires, your leads. Uh, it's also a hole right on the small tube. I don't know if you can see that. See that hole right there. Okay. And these are installed with a nylon or uh, acrylic plate with holes drilled in it. And uh, it's all wired up. And we'll get a little closer look at the wiring. I use a uh, a double-ended uh, screw that goes right through the casing. And let's see if we can see that, which is explained in the plans. The, uh, the case itself can be purchased at Lowe's. They call this upper deal a fitting clean-out adapter as a screw on top that needs to be uh, uh, sealed and of course it has the uh, nylon uh, nipple and then we have an acrylic tube so, uh, I'm using a six inch tube I'll tell you where to get that and also we have a, uh, a rubber sealed cap it's about thirty dollars for the cap about fifty five dollars for the tube and uh, eh, under twenty dollars for the rest of the, uh, the parts for the case. I also use a uh, rubber washer type of thing. I'll tell you where we can get that. Okay. Now hold on just a second. I'm going to pause. I'm going to turn this sucker on and show you how much hydrogen it puts out, or HHO, hydro hydroxy gas. And I think you're going to be pretty impressed. Um, it's far more than anything I've done previously. Uh, if you're interested, I'm going to reveal the simple mistake and tweak that I did that gets five times more hydroxy gas than any previous design. And you'll see what I mean when you see this. Uh, you can go to highfusion.com. For the next three days only, I'm going to let you have the complete plans they're $47 normally, including my secret mistake, which I will, re will review to a few people, anybody who responds, uh, for just $10. Three days only, $10, starting today, Sunday. After that, I may just take this uh, video down. All right, hold on just a sec while I fire this sucker up. I uh, hope that's uh, euphemistically said. I'll pull back as far as we can here.
the uh, unit starts generating HHO virtually immediately and you'll see that it completely fills up. Now we're going to look at the, uh, the bubbler. You can see that okay. The bubbler is putting out an enormous amount of bubbles. It's just steady, steady stream. Meanwhile, the HHO generator is completely filled with bubbles. Now this is not steam. I know that's the first thing you're thinking, this must be steam. The case is totally cold. It's actually ambient temperature, which means it's about 55 degrees. Very, very cold. Maybe 60 degrees. and it just steadily puts out all kinds of HHO. Totally filling up the case with HHO. And again, back to the bubbler. Looking right down, you can see all the, um, the HHO coming up. So, if you're interested, like I say, this unit can be built by yourself if you have a lot of patience and time for uh, about $120 for the case or less, a little bit less. The uh, tubing, stainless steel tubing, we're, I'm using an eight cell unit, 15 inch tubes. I believe it cost me under $500 for 316L tubing. I'll tell you exact sizes. Uh, there are some miscellaneous stainless steel screws and some nylon screws to keep the, uh, the tube separated. And that's how she works. Uh, you can go to highfusion.com and uh, pay your 10 bucks and find out my, uh, my accidental discovery on how to get five times more HHO. Okay then, thanks for watching.